Good day, brothers and sisters. Welcome back to Alex Sass Show here at the Glen Zone with Glenn Herring. And since it's Monday, it's Rome in the studio. And this is, okay, this is our favorite pastime to talk about things and discern. And we're here to discern with you. And it's very important to pay attention to what you say. Sometimes I catch myself saying some stupid things and I learn that it's better to be quiet but, you know, those are things that I say in ordinary friendship or relationship conversations. And you would think people that are left off with high responsibility, like presidents and vice presidents and CEOs and other people in charge of other people, you think that would master that art. And it makes you think if they don't and they say some asinine things still, or Freudian slips, or they just let you know what they're about to do. Makes you question things, and that's why we're here to discern. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. <laughs> Glenn? <laughs> Watching the cam sham in action here. I did that, That's a, a foot-in-the-mouth disease, if you ask me. Keep, keep screwing up. In front of so many people, I mean, you would think at that level, you would have it together. But do you think this was a Freudian sleep or intentional? You know how we always talk about they let you know uh, before they actually do it. You know, they have to disclose. They have to disclose what they're about to do so you know, so you make a conscious choice to accept it or not. Right? I mean, that's what I think. I think at this point, it, it, they just make it so much fun of us right in our faces. They just tell it to you right like it is. They blend it up in a nice little sentence where it could get camouflaged and it could be missed by the by the most or by the average mind who's not really listening or not really paying attention. And then boom, right in there. It was slipped right in there. Yeah, it was slipped right into the subconscious mind. Absolutely. And then it'll permeate through the reticular activating system into the conscious mind at the right opportune time. They, the, you know, the globalists, they study human behavior. They've studied all this. They know... They're the professionals at getting their way one way or another. So, at the same time, I think they're appeasing to the to the greed of the human. There's, you know, as humans, we have to be a little greedy just to survive. And people are pretty much, hey, if I'm here, I'm worried about me. I'm here. I'm not worried about you know the people that will be eliminated because I'm here and I'm a hold on and I'm strong. I'm healthy, so I don't really care. And that's why she got applause for that. Yeah, she was exposing her reptilian part of the brain again, the amygdala. And oh, I was just going to say she was exposing her uh, reptilian identity. <laughs> uh -huh. hey, uh -huh. I mean, if you've seen her neck in this bunch of videos that we show, remember the videos that we show with her neck and stuff? Yeah, like if, yeah, like the, the gills, right? So like some kind of reptilian thing. Well, that's, I don't know, fish is not reptiles. Uh, but she's talking about depopulation, right? And the, actually, the show on YouTube got removed earlier when we did it on depopulation uh, concerning the... Uh 